going on guys chase chasewins.com happy valentine's day everyone but more importantly this is just a reminder happy 2021 nascar season everyone today is the day february the 14th 2021 it is the great american race the kickoff to the 2021 nascar season the daytona 500 everybody's favorite race this is what kickstarts the season every single year and guys, NASCAR has become a very, very big part of this company, a very big part of our investment portfolio, and it's something that we look forward to absolutely every year. One thing that we pride ourselves in is having the best knowledge in every single sport that we cover. Obviously, everybody knows I'm the MLB king, Jerry. He's the soccer king. Um, we are the absolute best when it comes to NHL, college, and pro basketball, football, you name it. And then NASCAR, Patrick, he is the absolute GOAT when it comes to NASCAR. Um, he's somebody that I've known for over a decade, for those that don't know. And in 2014, 2015, he started really getting into my baseball investments and making money that way. And at the time he worked for NASCAR, he still does. Um, and we started trading off information, and I was absolutely floored by just the absurd knowledge he has of, of NASCAR and stock car racing in general, and how much money there was to be made in this sport from an investment standpoint. And prior to that, I just, I wasn't aware of it. It wasn't a sport that I was really into. My dad liked it a lot as I was growing up, but it was never anything that really interest, like, interested me. I had gone to some races and I've, you know, I've probably been to a dozen of them in my lifetime and, they, and don't get me wrong, some of the most fun you can have, no question about it, especially if you pay the money to do it right. But as far as watching it on TV or being a fan, it just wasn't my thing. But Patrick really got me into the investment side of it. And that's when I saw how much money sports investors were leaving on the table by not being involved in the sport. So I finally, after a few years, convinced him in 2018 to start releasing this information to clients, allowing them to buy the information so that they too could cash in like we were. Obviously, it'd be a conflict of interest with, you know, with his job within the brand. Um, so obviously he can't be on camera, but in 2000, in April of this year, um, he is actually retiring over 15 years uh, with the company and he will be full time, nothing but NASCAR related content. Obviously he's already exclusive with chasewins.com, but he'll be coming on full time doing content, free play videos. He's also going to be launching an all NASCAR podcast that will be covering you know, the investing and betting side of NASCAR, along with just the fan, you know, you as a fan, if you are a fan of NASCAR, would be interested in. That's not something that's going to be involved with chasewins.com, but it will be under my podcast platform. So I will have a hand in it. So you guys will all get to be able to see that. Our members of the channel will be able to get early access to stuff like that. And it will be under the same platform that I run Outfielders Anonymous on. So really excited for that to take place in a couple of months. But in 2018, about midway through the season, we started releasing plays out to my current my clients at that time um, for free, just to get you know the people that like NASCAR get them into it. Uh, the people that knew nothing about it, you know, which are a lot of people, get them interested in it, get feedback, see what people thought. And then in 2019 is when we actually released NASCAR packages for purchase for the very first time. 2019 was an overwhelming success. 2020 last year, even with the break during the season because of the pandemic, still an overwhelming success. And guys, I, I cannot express enough how profitable this sport is and just the potential for profit is something that doesn't exist in most of the traditional sports that you would invest in and again it's very easy to lose your ass in this sport because it's so difficult if you're not truly truly immersed in this sport you're not going to make money this is not something that you can just study for a little while like a traditional sport and think that you've got an edge or an upper hand. You, you can't do it in any sport, but in NASCAR, you most certainly cannot do it. 
You have to know what you're doing. And guys, we have the guy. There is not another guy. You can see plenty of people on YouTube that try to do it. And again, you know, go back and look at their track record of it. They didn't start doing it until a year after we released it. When it became a thing with us, a year later, people start going, oh, well, let's try to do that. Let, you know, we'll, we'll choose one of our guys and they'll now be an, a NASCAR expert. Give me a break. Get with somebody that actually knows what they're doing, that has the track record. Go back and watch all the videos that we've done, all of the content. Guys, just the last three Daytona 500s alone are enough to pay for your season passes. The last three years, not only has Patrick won 11 out of the 13 head-to-head -head picks that he's given out over the last three Daytona 500s, he has also predicted the race winner in the last three. Denny Hamlin last year, cashing in at 11 to 1 odds last year to kick the season off. $100 betters made $1,100 just on that pick alone. That's not including the head-to-heads. Guys, there are 36 cup races in a NASCAR season. If you buy the season pass, you get all the picks in all 36 of them. Every premium pick, every top play, head-to-head, -head, race winner pick, prop wager, futures bet, absolutely everything NASCAR related. You do not get NASCAR with any other package unless you are a full all-access member. That's the way it's always been. Patrick... NASCAR is his. It's his baby. It's not mine. I have nothing to do with it other than it's on my service. That's it. I do not cap it. I am not an expert. I promote it for him, but he is NASCAR. So when you buy a package, that goes to him. That's his. Other than the business expenses, it's all going to him. So unless you are a one-year all-access member or you have purchased NASCAR, that is the only way to get it. The NASCAR season should cost five grand. Period. We only charge five hundred dollars. Two thousand and twenty-two. That price is going to be doubled. We've already discussed it. We've already made the adjustments. So starting next year, this will be a nine ninety-nine season pass. But for this year, the last year, you can be purchased like this. You can purchase the entire season for four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Now the race goes at two thirty Eastern time today, Sunday, the fourteenth. Until the start of the race, until that green flag drops, you can purchase the entire season for $250, 50% off. The second that that race starts, the second it does, that price is going back up to $500. It's not coming back down, period. Don't email me. Don't DM me. Don't reach out to Jerry. Don't do any of it. You will not get a discount on it at that point. Guys, this is your last chance to get on it for 50% off. Because I'm telling you this, you're going to end up buying a, a race package for one week, for one race. And you're going to say, well, shit, I've made enough to buy the season pass three times over. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Let me see if I can get it for half price. The answer is going to be no. Get it while you can. If you buy the season pass, you will be entered to win these cool little things. My homie at Barstool sent them to me in 2019 winter MLB winter meetings out in San Diego. Uh, we were hanging out at the uh, at the Hilton Grand one night. And myself, Jared Carabas, Dallas Braden, uh, a couple of guys from MLB Network, and some of Jared's film crew was there. Fellow UNC grad was there. We got to talk, and he does some of the NASCAR content there as well, or did when they were doing it. And he sent me a handful of these hats back last season. And this is not something... And I thought he just sent them, you know, before they released them. This was not something that was ever released on the Barstool store. Everybody knows I'm a huge stoolie. I know a lot of you guys are out there too. This is not something that you can buy on Barstool's website. You could never buy this on Barstool's website. It was never available. And now that they are no longer sponsoring a car because a lot of the BLM nonsense that NASCAR got in, Bubba Wallace being a virtue signaler and wanting to stir up a bunch of bullshit, they they step back from it and probably won't do anything at all related with NASCAR this year. Um, hopefully Dave and Clint will get back into doing things for 2022 because that was an absolute match made in heaven for NASCAR. But 
It's got the color scheme from last year, the car that they did. It's got the NASCAR logo on the side. This is a badass hat, guys. Again, they sent me four of them, five of them. I gave one away to Patrick. I've got one, and I'm giving away the other three. They're still in the plastic. Um, I'll pay the shipping. So anybody that has already purchased the NASCAR season since it's been on sale or a one-year all-access pass since then, your name's already entered, and all of the people that sign up between now and when the race starts today at 2.30, I'm going to enter your name as well. At some point during the race, I'm going to choose three names. It'll be at random draw. We'll put them in the little system. It'll draw three names. I'll email you and uh, tell you that you won, how you want it, you know, where you want it to be shipped, and boom, I'll pay the shipping, and I'll get them shipped out to you um, probably on Tuesday. So, cool little giveaway on a hat that you can't even go to their website and buy badass hat so cool little giveaway there now if you want just the race day our race packages are fifty dollars per race that gets you every premium play every top play head-to-head -head, race winner pick all the instructions everything it's fifty dollars per race you can buy those every week the day of the race this week since it is the kickoff to the season this will be a week where you can get it cheaper. You can get the Daytona 500 pass for $30 instead of $50. We're going to do a $20 discount. I'm telling you right now, spend the $30 if you want. Make the money. Enjoy it. Have fun with us. Spend the $250. Get the full season. Because if you spend the $30, the race is over. You made a bunch of money. You look on the website. The pass is going to be back up to $500. You're going to have wasted $250 that you didn't have to even though the pass should be five grand it's 250 that you don't have to spend so keep that in the back of your mind as you're making your purchase you can go to chasewins.com go to the purchase page you can get the NASCAR season pass you'll see it there it's already discounted you can get the NASCAR day pass now we had some services last year that were buying the NASCAR and taking it posting it and trying to take credit as their own you know who you are we are you know we have already in the works of uh legally taking action on everyone and uh we are watching everyone closely but for that reason we stopped posting nascar early the morning of the race we used to post it three four hours prior to the race now we post race picks roughly two hours prior to the race that way it doesn't give those other services time if they are still trying to do so we're, we're monitoring it closely but race picks will be out somewhere 12 31 p.m today everyone that is on those picks will get an email the second they are posted so you can get on board get your wagers in and be ready for the race to start and make money guys i cannot stress enough how much money can be made in this sport i cannot stress it enough week after week last year 11 to 1 odds 36 to 1 odds, 28 to 1 odds, race winner after race winner after race winner making thousands of dollars at some races for a $100 investment. There were multiple races where a $100 wager on one of his race winner picks paid out over $3,000. You're not guessing, guys. You want to get with a service that will oh, we only charge $10 for a NASCAR. Okay, I can light $10 on fire for you. Pay the money, get with a real service, let us take care of you. You will not be disappointed. So guys, welcome to NASCAR 2021. I cannot wait. Last year we had our Talladega event set up. Obviously that had to be called off because of COVID, them not allowing fans the way that they normally do this year we're going to wait and see what happens if everything works out and they're allowing fans at normal capacity later in the season the championship will be at phoenix international again this year at the end of the season it's where our west coast office is so we are hoping to be able to do a giveaway to come out to the championship race with us enjoy it well we go all expenses paid on us We'll just see what happens. Anybody that purchases a NASCAR season or one-year all-access pass already gets entered to win. And if we end up being able to do that, your name's already in the drawing. One, uh, one entry per season pass, 
two entries if you are on a one-year all-access pass that you purchase. So keep that in the back of your mind. But ChaseWins.com, $250. Get the entire 2021 NASCAR season or $30 you can get Sunday's race card. Again, starting next week, it'll be $50 per race card. But for the first race, we always do $30. Bucks. So go jump on one of them. The picks will be out somewhere 12, 30, 1 o'clock. We'll send an email when they're ready. I've got a meeting with Patrick at noon to go over final picks, get them posted, and get them out to everyone. And we cannot wait to get another profitable race season in the books for you guys. So all of my NASCAR investors, get ready. It's time. And we'll see you in victory lane.